All right, this is just a little uh, video to show how the backlash script works that I wrote. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, there's not much to it. Um, so you can see here I've got a dial gauge set up on my Z-axis, uh, just sitting above the board. Uh, I just need to bring it down so it's touching the board. I usually bring it down so the dial says about 3 mil. That'll do. All right, now all I have to do is run the script, um, which is the M the M1040 script that I wrote. So I click on OK. All right, so now it says which access do you want to test backlash on? So we just say Z. Okay, now it says to zero your dial gauge and then say OK to continue. So I zero it. The dial gauge is now zeroed and we say OK. Now it's just doing a repeatability test. So it's saying it should be zero. That's pretty close. Um, we're talking about 0 0.001 of a millimeter. So I'm not worried about that. Now it says to click OK again. OK, now we have a value of 0 0.022, um, which as it says on the screen is what your backlash should be. So what we do there is we go into Access Setup. Uh, I should have actually chosen the default screen set, so it's a bit more familiar for everybody. But uh, 0 0.022, enter, apply those settings, and we'll go back out here and we'll just run the script again to see how much backlash there is now. And click on OK. I want to do the Z axis again. Okay, so same thing, zero the gauge, do zero, click OK, saying it should still read zero, which it's pretty close, happy with that, and then click on OK again, and now we have 0 0.002 for the backlash, which is pretty good considering the accuracy, the step accuracy on this machine is 0 0.0075. Um, I can't get it any closer than that because it's either going to go up to 0 0.01 or go in the other direction. So that's pretty close. Pretty happy with that. Um, and you can do that on the X and Y axis as well. It's very simple to use. Hope you enjoy it.